I would say that you are extremely emotional. Do you consider yourself an emotional male? Not really. I would say I, I do a good job of, you know, controlling them. Okay. These two in Canada try to destroy us. Guess what f***ing happens? We became even stronger from that shit. I'm like, a yes, you can. Stop being a bitch, man, because you have the fierce tenacity that no one can. <laughs> A little sick today, so I might sound a little weird. <clears throat> Seems that Myron really wants to get physical with me. And Andrew Schultz. If you aren't aware, um, DJ Academics went on the Flagrant Podcast and Fresh and Fit was brought up where Andrew Schultz and the crew started clowning on him a little bit. And uh, Myron was not happy. Uh, Myron's been challenging a lot of people to boxing matches, including myself. I, uh, somebody sent me this clip. I'm getting in the Honda 2002. I'm going to Jim, I'm putting the gloves on, beat the f***ing shit out of you, man. Actually, That's what we're going to do. I have his phone number. Call his ass on air. Let me call him? Call him. I'm calling. Watch him duck it, man. <laughs> Come on, go pick up, bro. Uh, hell no, you ain't going to pick up. <laughs> oh, bad. I'm just calling, but not picking up. Call again. Put the gloves uh... on. Back up what you got to say with your fists. Man, the amount of cope that you guys get for Abba running away from his own fights... I don't know Preach. I've never met him in my life. We call him on air two times. We're no calling answer. this f on air. No, you you guys are a witness. I told I called Destiny. We called him directly. I didn't even know Fresh had his number. Yeah. I tagged him on Twitter. Remember, I he's gonna duck it. You know what happened? You don't and you didn't answer like you. I, I don't have WhatsApp notifications on one and two. The funny thing is, at the time they were calling, I was at a birthday party. So here I am talking to ladies, and I guess these guys thought I'd be like, oh, I hope Fresh and Fit's calling. Let me find out. I was like, why, why, why would I leave a birthday party so I can answer a phone call from two dweebs? This shit's like over two years old. People still talk, like, if it didn't happen at first, it's not going to happen now. Just move on. I guess Myron's been sharing the fact that he'd been training. he have been posting on Twitter about how he's been training three times a week, ready for this boxing match. The time has passed. If you think I'm going to travel to Miami to go see friends and family, and then I'm going to take time out of that to go spend time with you, you are bugging. I feel like we're in a playground. You scared? Huh? You scared? You won't? You won't? You, 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 you scared? Sure. You a fucking grown man out here using playground insults to like trying to go to me into something I have zero interest in. It is corny for grown men who want to be leaders of other men to be out here yelling emotionally. Stop being a man screaming at people about how they want to fight leave the fighting to the fighters all these like corny ass youtubers and all these other people who love to just talk about violence like it's nothing it's corny you're just posturing to make other people think you look tough but the truth is your business partner or your former associate ayunde who showed up at your house broke in and has been finding you in the streets what did you do when he wanted to fight you and beat beat you up when he said, let's get in the ring, boxing gloves. He walked up out of there, bro. Immediately after, Myron was like, Queen, watch out, bro. This is about to come up on us. Ran right here with the f***ing grass, come up. And Myron pulled up the blower, like, hey, stop playing. You lose your life, nigga. Come close. I'm about to blow your shit back. And the kept coming, bro. And then luckily the cops was right there, so we had an extra window. Yeah, facts. Yeah, facts. He was legit Right. That shit crazy, bro. And he tried to ask question on two different occasions. Really? Yes. Yes. That's what I'm trying to tell you, like, bro. Like in public? Yes. You don't want to get in the ring with, even though he wants to get in a boxing ring with you. No, you pull out the blicky at that time. What happened? I thought you'd been training. Why don't you take that fight? It's because your ego couldn't handle the thought of you losing. So you've done the calculation. And you justify it however you want. But the truth is, it's because you're a coward. Ain't that right? By your logic. Because I think there's a tweet from you saying, if you want to talk some shit about people online, you better get ready to put on the boxing gloves and get in the mat ring. So why aren't you doing that? You mean talking? These are your words. This is your paradigm. How come you don't live by those rules? Doesn't that make you the biggest coward of all? Taking only fights that you think you can win? <laughs> oh, you want to pull out a gun now? What happened? Here, here's another person rolling up on him in the UK. I, I just come to agree that from across the river. Well, I don't know you, man. I don't know you. I don't know you, bro. Just bounce, bro. I don't know you, bro. Just bounce. I don't know you, bro, but... When he's gone? When he's gone. When he's <laughs> Why didn't you have that same energy for Ayunde? For HS Tiki Taki, the one who wanted to fight you, been calling you, you lived in your building. Let's be real, I saw him earlier, yeah, boys. I saw him earlier walking into the hotel with his girl. I, Hi, I was I was looking at him and the he won't even look at me. He's a little pussy. 
That guy's a Is it Myron? Myron, he looks like a Yo, no, his ego's mad. Only, only his e no, 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 do you know what? Yeah, you're probably watching this. He goes mad. You're a little and I'll knock you out any day of the week. You're not red pill this week. You would have got bullied at school. I would bully you at school. No? You, you now you want to take off your shirt and fight somebody. Look, hold on, look, Yo, hold me back, hold me back, man. Hold me back. Hold me back. Hold me back. Yeah, yeah, you're not holding. Hold me back. Hold me back. Yeah. Yo, dude, what are you doing? What do you mean? He's supposed to hold me back. But you said you had a problem with him. No, he's supposed to hold me back. Okay, my bad. Hold me back. Yo! Ooh. Yo! Ooh. Yeah! Yeah, you so yeah. tough. Okay, you got you so tough. Okay. Hold me back, you man. You're supposed to hold me back. I think you've been working out. I think you've been handling it. Bro, you looking dumb right now. Bro, my bed's over there. We can just lay down and chill. What the f is wrong with you? We on the sports team. <laughs> <laughs> we on the sports team. <laughs> We've been struggling together, you know, working hard. Like, let's get in bed hard. Pause. Just like, <laughs> like, 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 just watch this clown behavior. Just watch this. Watch this. You coming back? You come back? Come back. Come back. I'll f you up right now. What's good? What's that? Chill, bro. Chill. And just like this guy used to be like a federal agent. <laughs> yeah, man. What a clown. <laughs> like the criteria to be a federal agent gotta be trash. And you know what's funny is these guys always LARP about, oh, women are so emotional. Women are so, look at this clown. He's in a foreign country risking himself to go to jail in the UK, get his visa banned for pretty much all of Europe. For what? All right, chill. Shout out to Fresh, be like, baby, come back, baby, please, baby, baby, come back. Stop, daddy. Why are you, you going to fight, daddy? Stop. You don't look cool because you're taking fights you think you can win. It's like, what's his name? Sneeko. Wants to fight five foot six Charlie. I'm not calling him small. I'm saying he has no muscles. Yeah. But hit the gym. Andrew Tate preaches getting a better physique. You really body watching right now? You're body shaming, but you can't fight? Chat, I don't want to, I'm not reacting to a stream. This guy's pissed me off, and you can tell him this. I want to meet him in person. Angela Wallace, you got me feeling some type of way, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Those glasses, this one little bit, one little boop. I challenge you. You want to box me, bro? Let's do a 1v1 boxing match. You say I belong to the streets? Yeah, I belong to the streets. We could rock this out on the streets, and we could do it in the ring, bro. Let's box. You fat, lying piece of shit. I would beat the f out of you, Ethan Klein. If you said that about me, you lied to my name to my face. Let's get in the ring. Stop talking shit about me and let's box. And then finally, when Brandon Buckingham is down to meet Sneeko, he's there to box him. They're both similar sizes. Mind you, this Brandon Buckingham said he wanted to run a train on Sneeko's girl. Sneeko would now rather just sit at home and tell jokes behind his computer. I'd rather just, just I'd rather sit at home and yell at a camera, tell jokes than, you know, risk my manhood falling flat for Brandon, Brandon Buckingham, you know, if I lose the fight. So these guys aren't brave, they aren't courageous, they aren't strong. They just want to appear strong to their audience. They want to take fights they think they can win. I've said this from the jump, and I told this to Preach. I think this whole fighting shit is corny. During this whole feud between Ivan Preach and, and Fresh and Fit, where we've been just basically clowning on some of the stuff and the dumb shit that they've said, all you've done is take L's. You've just cost your business millions of dollars. Yeah, you're getting yourself demonetized over the dumbest shit. Is that how a leader operates? Is that what you want to teach everybody? Hey guys watching, don't be strategic. Don't be smart. Just say whatever you want, do whatever you want and lose a bunch of money. Wow, that's great financial advice. That's a great example to set. You guys are grown people with networks in the millions talking about putting on gloves to settle your issues. Like it settles anything. What example are you setting for people? All your followers are gonna get in boxing rings with people they have disputes with too? Just stop it. Uh, but you can carry on yelling. You can say I'm scared. You can say I'm like, it doesn't bother me. Imagine trying to appeal to a bunch of strangers and be like, nah, I'm a brave man. I need y'all to know. So I'm gonna get... When you fight somebody at the drop of the dime because they said some words to you. So like, let's say they call you a coward. They call you a They say they want a box or whatever. You're essentially giving them control over your mental state and your actions. Like. Today, it's these guys. What happens when the next person says something about my family? I got to go fight them too? What about the next person that has an issue with them? Man, I got to go ends. fight them too? Like, it becomes a never-ending cycle, these kinds of things. I'm not saying don't defend your family. Somebody puts hands on your people. That's a different thing. But you got to understand, like, there's not a shortage of people who are going to say crazy things online. Are you going to constantly react to everybody in the way they want? It's not because somebody calls you something that you then have to go and immediately start getting... It's not a reasonable way to handle yourself online. What do you want to say? 
Um, <clears throat> well, first and foremost, I never challenged them. I accepted. It's a difference. They challenged me. And when I accepted, there was nothing on the line. We try to contact you, nothing. Duds. I said both of y'all. Both of y'all. The one that initially said it, and you. And for some reason, now all of a sudden, you want to take him. It's me you targeted. Why all of a sudden you don't have a problem with me when I initially accepted? You see how fucking weird that is? Not corny that is? And he thinks it's corny because he, you even you even call you even call me out on on cam. Uh, I told you offline. You told me yeah. We were I, filming I, and you told me offline and yes, yes. And you're you're right. But, but but just just on that point, the thing I said was like, listen, it's not my place to tell somebody how they want to defend their family or their wife. So that's your thing. Me personally, I just don't like it when I see grown men talking about they want to fight to settle disputes. But I'm it's not my place to tell you. So you're your own person. So I understand I like, what right. you're saying, but you, you you also said that it was corny. You said that to me too, and it's and it's and it's fine. And I and I agreed. That's not my point. I didn't think it was corny initially. But I said, I said it was corny no, not, a year after. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, like a year yes, after yes, when yes, niggas yes, are still yes. talking about yeah. it. It's like if y'all not gonna fight at the beginning, yeah. just stop bringing it up. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Yes, you're right. No, no, but you but you're right. But you're right. It was a year after to put the the proper context. Yep. Absolutely. It was a year after. Yes. But you initially, you you and your partner actually did that. You called me out. It's with me that you had a problem. Mm. He never wanted to do it. He's like, even when I brought it up, he didn't even know what was going on. You can watch the video again. You're like, wait, what? What's going on? What? Yeah, I remember that. Wait, wait, what? I was like, yeah. If y'all want to talk shit, come back in the studio. We'll talk about it. Or we can box about it, too. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm in the gym now, you feel mm -hmm. me? I'm feeling feeling nice right now. Right, first right first now. Three three months. Preach, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm a boxer up, preach, bro. That's why I'm a boxer preach. Come back to, to Miami. Let's box it out. Talk it out to us. How about that? <laughs> in three months, though. And later on in the video, you're saying that you want to box with me. Sort of happened that I'm going to be in the U.S. next week. You want to fucking do this shit? Let's go. Both of you. I'll be in the U.S. next fucking week. Hold up, hold up. I'll... Let's go. We'll put gloves on. Because not only this, that's why I have a problem. Now you talk shit about my wife. This nigga preaches married prior to a fucking beluga whale somewhere. And y'all niggas talking shit. And you talk shit about my country. Old bitch said that he was about to send me on a boat to my country, to Haiti. Yeah? Cool. Next week, I'll be in, I'll be in the States. I'll drop by your fucking studios. You know where it is? Give me the address. I'll be right there. We'll put gloves on. It'll be illegal. I know Florida lies. I take one bitch, then I take the other one. Listen, I'm not here to have people fight and advocate, but preach. You your own man. I was the one that was willing. I was the one that was, yeah, let's go. And when we contacted you, you said nothing. Your little partner as well didn't respond. Saw the messages, didn't respond. Both of you. And now you're going to switch it to Abba? That's fine. That's cool. That's why we know that you don't want none of that. In the video, you said, I don't really do so much have a problem with preach. And then you call other people coward? <laughs> My boy. Because that's what you is, a boy. Sit down. Sit that one down. Also, think about this. Think about this. Um, <laughs> that being said, <laughs> there's, there's a way that you can get with a sugar bag. Right? And I'll say this. I, I personally, I like this is just my take on it. Like, Black men and their egos when it comes to online stuff is especially pompous. Uh, the amount of time I see black creators talking about, I'm going to box you. I'm going to catch you in the streets. And I'm like, bro, you got like 500,000 subscribers. Like, what are you doing? Are you going to catch a case and risk your whole life? You're going to stop the money that comes to your family to do what? And I'm not saying these guys asking for a boxing match or whatever is the exact same thing. What I'm trying to say is you're inherently telling your audience to solve these kinds of issues with violence. Are, are you going to be the man of your house with that kind of attitude? Are you going to be able to take care and provide for your family because you're out here challenging people to boxing matches? Do you think that looks good to employers when you're talking to people and you're like, yeah, I challenge these people to fights? Like, it's clown behavior. I think we already went over the fact that like, we would never do that on, in the streets. That was never the purpose. That was never the point that that was to happen. But even not, if I see you in the show, I'm not going to do that. No. We're about to do it the proper way, legal way, but you didn't want that. So, yo. But even doing it the legal way, what does it settle? It's, it settles, what, what, what it it settles settle? nothing. It settles nothing. I got, yeah, and I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, it's really just ego.
That's, it's it's really, 100% it's really, that. And I'm not saying that you just had, you only have ego. Yes, you do. But it was me too. On my side, it was ego too. Go ahead. What do you mean? Oh, me. Yeah, me responding to that was ego. It was 100% ego. Mm. It was me being heard about different things, about the, uh, the the different thing in the past and stuff like that. And that just, just brought all that shit back up. What, can you give us an example? Or you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. But I'm just no, it's just how I was cheated when I was a kid. and how, yeah, how I was cheated when I was a kid. How people used to climb me when I was a kid and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. It's like, I thought I overcame all that and I, it was finally over. Mm-hmm. And I have this bitch ass motherfucker doing that shit as, as well. It's like, mm-hmm. oh, okay, mm-hmm. you're going to get it for everybody. Mm-hmm. You're going to get it for everybody. That's still ego. Yeah. That's still ego. There's better ways to act. There's better ways to do stuff like that. You know what I mean? And they said no. They knew. It's just the switch up is just weird to me. Mm. I don't know why it switched to you. I'm not, you know why? It's why? because he thinks he can win. And listen, here's the thing: if you've ever been in fights and lost, even if, if you've been insulted in front of people, like especially when your ego's really caught up into it, you replay that moment and then you replay what you would do differently. It's like that Kevin Hart meme. Where the parent says something to the kid, and the kid starts pacing around in his room. What mm. was that? How's that? Yeah. Yeah. You. Yeah. That's this guy in box. That's why he's been training because he has his vision in his head of how he's gonna fix the past um, clownage that he's received. <laughs> And it's not just a him thing. Like, you see this with our people all the time. A motherfucker says something on Facebook. They take the insult. They imagine everyone laughing at them. Then they start ramping themselves up. The next time they catch a dude, they pull out a weapon. They do whatever. It's that ego that makes you drive. It drives you crazy. Like, I can't I can't stomach this shame. If I beat this person up, then even if you get that, you get the temporary boost. You get the dopamine from people calling you a big dude. But the truth is, you're still the same miserable ass person you were before. No, I respect you. Because you're a bitch. You're a bitch. You're sitting in this chest like, well, yeah, just network with manners. I don't know if we're going to make it. Oh, now everyone's going to become manners. You're a pussy. What the fuck is wrong with you? You're going to have the mindset that I have. I will not fucking lose. These two pussies in Canada try to destroy us. Guess what fucking happens? We became even stronger from that shit. I'm like a fucking say it. You hit me. I live through the battle and I get stronger after the fact. Now we're number one fucking best podcast in the world. <laughs> That's such a nerd shit. Can you say I'm like a f- Insane. Nerd, Yo, did he just call himself some kind of DBZ character? Bro, you cannot. Yo, whatever. What I told you about that you fantasy shell? Not. You cannot tell me that that's not fucking nerd. I got in the hyperbolic time chamber, and now I'm ready to fight somebody weaker than me. God. If you're a Saiyan, insane. go fight a Yende. That's what a Saiyan would do. That's what a Saiyan would do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go that, be Goku. Go be Vegeta. And what happened to Goku? He got beat up a bunch of times. He died a few times. He died. <laughs> yeah, he died. died a few times. Yeah, but we ain't got no Dragon Balls. Those two clouds tried to destroy us, and they fucking failed. I want your opponents to fear you. Have the fear of God. If I ever run into this motherfucker, he's going to beat the shit out of me. That's what I want, because you have the fierce tenacity that no one can fucking... Wait, no one! Your voice is breaking, my guy. It's these two oh, in Canada. Oh, my God. They wanted to fight me. Fucking Canadians. Oh, Make no one let you fear you. You're a man. You're the prize. Oh my God. Welcome to the Krusty Krab. <laughs> you understand? Stop being f***ing in this chat. Tell me some dumb shit about, I don't know where I stand. I don't know if I can do it. Yes, you can. Stop being a bitch, man. That's what I want y'all to be. Where everyone is scared of you. They cannot stop you because they know if I get in this mother way he's gonna run me over and he's gonna destroy me in the process no one can stop you that's what i want you guys to have man hearing another grown man huff and puff while they say my name is pause <laughs> that is mad weird energy <gasps> i'm gonna preach <gasps> yo what you been doing i'm gonna keep laughing at you there's nothing you can really do about it because i think dudes who huff and puff and scream and they're very loud they're generally the biggest jokes in society and the fact that you spend your whole time on your podcast calling women emotional, women can't control themselves, women are not to be, you seem like a liability, my friend. You seem like you can't control your emotions whatsoever. What happened to being stoic, to controlling yourself? You can't do it. So again, another one of these alpha male podcasts, these red pill dweebs, can't hold the frame that they preach their audiences to. They just scream and they get upset and they take a lot of L's. Think about this. In the last two years, all these guys have done 
has cost themselves all the opportunities that they've spent their whole careers building for themselves. Congratulations, you played yourself. And you're probably going to lose way more down the line because you can't control your emotions. So put a timestamp on it. You're going to say ABBA predicted it. Uh, these motherfuckers not going to last much longer. By the way, we got a Discord. Please subscribe. Real Alpha Men have a Discord and uh, Reddit. Subscribe. <laughs> You know, that voice cracked. That, was, that voice cracked. The was one real. time where he tried to be the manliest dude possible, his voice betrayed him. Ah, <laughs> uh, Vanderbilt. <laughs>